I got John these creative and colorful socks. These are food socks. As you can see, this looks like a burger, just like we ordered from the restaurant. And John is a big burger lover. So let's open the box. Wow, it's a brown paper wrapped all over it. Now you can see for the burger, there is a burger bun, tomatoes, some lettuce, cheese, pepperoni, and burger patty. Inside of this burger, there are two pairs of socks. Now, let's listen to what John said about it. <laughs> I do want to say that everybody used to make fun of me for wearing some crazy socks, but I would like to say that I was ahead of the time and everybody wears crazy socks now. So. For my sock night, I had a first-hand account from both of my parents that these were the most comfortable socks that they've ever worn. And who am I to argue with 2,675 Amazon reviews that gave it five stars? For this night, I chose some Beliga socks for Mandy. They're these no-show pink socks. And hey, I also had to get a pair for myself too. For photo night, in the past, we've been giving each other a customized puzzle with our wedding picture and a photo album. This year, I wanted to be a little mobile and something small so he can carry around. So, I chose this brown leather keychain. From this side, it says, sure. I love you forever. And on the back, it shows our initials, MJ, Mandy and John. And inside, there is a picture of our engagement. And on the back, oh yeah, everything is customized. Wherever you go, home is always here for you. I love you. So I think it would be super sweet for him to carry around just in case he has a bad day, he can always open it and cheer him up. Photo night is one of my favorite nights of our Hanukkah tradition. The first year I got Mandy a photo mug and last year I got her a thousand piece puzzle that took us months to finish during the quarantine. Insert picture here. Uh, so this year I wanted to get her something you know, also kind of unique and I like to get her some trinkets for her desk from time to time as presents. So this year I found a website that made a little statuette of us. I like this photo choice because I'm smiling in it and she's kind of giving me a serious face but it's always going to be a reminder to her that I'll always be smiling. Since March we started to work from home. And John has given up wearing a pair of socks or to a barber. One year ago at our wedding, he looks like this. Now, he looks like this, 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 and this. So, I got him this Avita wooden mini paddle brush. Of course, it's orange just as he likes it. And the cushion makes every brush so easy. Keep his hair healthy. Look. How shining his hair is. Are we back? Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Um, okay, for color night, Mandy chose white last year, so I got her this cool white face mask that I get to paint onto her face. We enjoyed that so much that for this year, she chose black, and guess what I got her? A black mask. It's bamboo charcoal, and again, I get to paint it on her face. Stay tuned for photos, if she lets me. got him a novel called Anxious People from a Swedish author, Frederick Beckman. Come on, we all have all kinds of anxieties in this world. This book is about stories happened to people who were brought together by an unhappened robbery in the white and pitch perfect dialogue. From the book, it's always very easy to declare that other people are idiots, but only if you forget how idiotically difficult being human is. The first year that Mandy and I ever did book night, I thought we were gonna get each other the same books because we both ended up getting each other cookbooks and they're basically the same size. That was pretty funny when we were opening it up, but we didn't get the same ones. This year I got pretty lucky as well because her favorite poet, Rupi Kaur, released a book in November 
So that was an easy one. Next, I just couldn't stop at one. So I did get her this one book about YouTube and how to grow your subs to 100,000. So if you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. And the last one is, it's called the Big Activity Book for Couples. So it's just kind of like these fun little games that you can do and play. I figured, you know, if Mandy didn't have to work so much while we were down here, we'd have some time to uh, do some of these activities and, you know, just get to know each other a little more. What if somebody said you're cheating by giving her three books? I didn't see any rules for this Hanukkah. from different culture backgrounds, John got me into Hanukkah and I got him into Baba Milk Tea. If you want to impress your Asian friend, invite her to Baba Milk Tea. So this year, I got him this Baba Milk Tea flavored candy shipping all the way from Japan. I ordered from a website called 24-7 Japanese Candy and the shipping is super fast. Normally, I don't like hard candy, but this candy got a little soft liquid texture inside. One year, we were celebrating Chinese New Year at one of Mandy's friends' house, so, and I kept seeing her eat this creamy candy from White Rabbit, a Chinese candy, pretty traditional. And she just kept eating it and eating it all night, so I said, okay, that's easy, I'll get her that for candy night. I couldn't stop there though because Mandy loves matcha, so I also got her the matcha flavor. The five masks I give John for activity night. There are five different kinds of animals. Cheetah, panda, otter, mermaids, and unicorn. Now, I am a cheetah. And if you stay longer enough, you might be able to see John. Stay tuned. Anything cooler than this? This year, introducing this new night activity night, we could have gone a whole lot of different ways. We could have gone cooking, we could have done a class together, we could have you know, done so many different activities, right? And then, I don't know how I found it, but somehow online I found this, it's called Magic for Humans at Home. So Magic for Humans, if you haven't seen it, is this Netflix show which Mandy loves. It's about this guy, Justin Willman, and he does his magic. It's kind of street magic, basically. It's very up close and personal. So what he does in this Zoom is, he actually engages a little bit with the audience, everything's live, it has great reviews, I'm really excited. So we're going to be doing that on December 20th at 6 p.m. And again, maybe we'll give you a review, who knows. My idea was to choose something that can be easily styled with every outfit. So I chose this black mask with bear mouth on it. Also, because John is always very smiley, I think this mask can bring some cool side out of him. Another new night, and hopefully this one is the last time that we ever have to do this night. But for face masks, Mandy loves alpacas, and I love when she says the word alpaca, even though it's actually alpaca. but. Never told me that. I always tell you that, but it's just so cute when you say alpaca. So, anyways, here's the mask. Look at this cute little alpaca. Ta-da! Finally, it's our big final present. This year, I got him a Tumi backpack. It's multifunctional and also it's a nice blue color. I admit I might have to leak some information beforehand to him just in case it's a bad pricey choice. And actually he picked up the style and we both like it. Of course, John would like to get it engraved. Anyone else here is so obsessed with their names? Again, no surprise here for Mandy. I did get her these nice uh, David Yerman earrings that match a necklace that she also got from there. We bought our wedding bands from David Yerman and they've been nice to send us a $200 gift card every single year after we bought them and that keeps us coming back to buy products from them. So it's been pretty good that way. 
Now, early on in our relationship, I would buy Mandy some jewelry, but I never consulted her, and more often than not, that jewelry doesn't get worn, so from now on, it's always Mandy who's been picking the jewelry. My gift coming from three countries. My gifts came from six different websites. So why don't you tell us who you think won Hanukkah 2020? And subscribe, and click, and swipe up, and subscribe, and like, and follow, and comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me fix your mask. Why it doesn't fit you? Uh, I don't know. But you would never put this in the actual video, would you? No, never. Okay. Do you want to lay down? Just uh, enjoy this relaxing 15 minutes.